What happens when you've got a dad with a passion for railroads and a mom who happens to be a watercolor artist? You get Mike Daneman, full-time freelance railroad artist and photographer. Although Mike credits his folks for inspiring his career, it's easy to see that much of his success comes from self-motivation, hard work, and tons of talent. From scenery for model railroads to acrylic paintings, book covers, articles, greeting cards, and calendars, Mike's lifelong interest in trains has been unleashed through his eye for beauty. In 1984, Mike got his first paycheck for pursuing his passion at Wisconsin-based Kalmbach Publishing Company. An employee for 11 years, he started as an illustrator for Model Railroader and became the art director for Trains Magazine. The job not only fed Mike's train habit, it introduced a new love, his wife Katie. In search of fresh artistic pursuits, the two moved to Arvada, Colorado in 1997. The move from an apartment to a home also meant more space, which allowed for more room for both of their hobbies. Mike spends much of his spare time working with model railroads. Because the old apartment was so small, his 5x7 design was easy to move. The N-scale Denver and Rio Grande Western layout is well on its way to becoming a new and improved Moffett Road. And since it now fills a 25 by 19 foot space, it appears as if the Danamans aren't planning on moving anytime in the near future. Well, the layout is easier to maintain and work on because of its size. I think a really huge layout would be a daunting task, and to me, that this one's plenty big, and it, it gets a lot of what I want to portray and model railroading, it gets, gets accomplished. Right now, the layout is shared by two of Mike's favorite railroad eras, the early 60s for being the heart of the industry, and the early 80s for the coal trains that he remembers as a kid. At some point, he plans to separate the two time periods for better representation. By not taking up the entire basement with track, Katie is able to use the second room for her hobbies, or more appropriately, to keep them out of trouble. Joey and Belle need their own bedroom to hinder them from going through Mike and Katie's and stealing things of importance. Mike does a fair amount of traveling in Canada and the United States in search of railroad photos. Not only are the images reprinted in railroad calendars and books, but they also inspire themes for Mike's paintings and backdrops. Well, I'm able to go out and take photos of it. I'm basing the layout on the prototype from Denver Union Station to the Moffat Tunnel, so that gives me the ability to check it and take photos of it and base my backdrop on it and the scenery on it. And I am modeling the, you know, a prototype stretch of railroad, so that's helpful. One of the easiest things I found was to go out and I actually photographed a series of uh, panoramic views of the scenery and just in regular print film and I taped them together and was able to f form a very long panoramic view that I was able to you know, accurately reproduce on the backdrop. A recent effort for Mike is documenting the former Rio Grande engineers and crew members who still work the railroads out in Utah, which are now owned by Union Pacific. I've been spending quite a few years now really inspired to go out and capture the last Rio Grande locomotives and people, especially the people. I find them, especially when you're uh, hanging around with these guys long enough, you start to be able to be accepted as part of the crew in a way. and and. Uh, you're able to get good candid photos of, of people that you can't get if you just you know, come in and try to take a photo of them. Although Mike's work is a beautiful tribute to the crews who have worked the railroad since the beginning, it's sad to think that in the not so distant future, these images may be all that remains. Railroads are constantly changing and painting is a good way to uh, capture those past moments. Mike's photographs and artwork may be the only way that the last of the Rio Grande and the trains and people who guide them will be able to keep on running.